can you catch? Well, let's just say, what I'm seeing now, I think there's gonna be mold. It's so annoying. First question, how did you become to be into farm life? An interesting fact is how do you, is Tom annoying? Great question. Does she have a boyfriend? Great question. Why are you here? You're just trying to be controversial here. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite animal. farm animal though. Hiddle, Heidi, Heidi, Hiddle, Hiddle, Heidi. You better not. Giving cows food, better not. Looking after cows, she's smashing it. You done what, what? No, no, I was uh, sorting my life out. It shouldn't take as long as it is, but my life's a mess. Good morning, everyone. If you have not already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. She's looking cool. Ring the little bell, ding a little videos every Tuesday and Friday, and on occasion, we do Sunday's videos, which we're smashing the Sunday video because with so much stuff is going on at the moment. There is, we're just so busy, we're filming loads, and it's just mega. So yeah, a lot's going on. So in today's video, what is going on, what we're doing, you can see in the showroom, yes, this is gonna be called the showroom every time we do a video. Now, in the showroom, we're running out of silage, which is not a big issue, because we do have loads. We have loads of silo in the first clot, and we sold a bit last year so we might be all right fingers crossed touch wood what we're doing in today's video we are opening up the first cut silage we are going to see what's underneath we did this last year in between christmas and new year because who was with us last year will and henry were with us last year and we did a q a with will and henry this year what we have done is we're doing a Q&A with Heidi. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I don't know why they don't, because it's great. My Instagram and my Snapchat, which is here. What, you should follow my me. Instagram, and I was like, oh, thanks, it's great. <laughs> Not so much. I said that we're gonna do a video with Heidi. Everyone's asking lots of questions. Who is Heidi? What is she doing here? And whilst we do this, I'm gonna guess there's gonna be a bit of milk in there. We're gonna answer loads of questions with Heidi, and Heidi's gonna answer them. Whilst we take the front off here, you can see Dad has taken a couple of the tires off yesterday, and I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? We film the tires coming off, Father. You do know this. I like to film the tires going off. We like to film the unveil. So we're going to unveil this, take it off, and we might just move that away so we've got a bit more space. Dad was thinking of leaving these here because then, uh, whilst we use them, we can take away, say, moving them two or three times, which makes sense. But at the same time, I think we're going to eat more silo than we're going to end up moving these guys. But we'll find out as life goes on. Right. Okay. First job is going to be to fold the sheet back see what's underneath if you do remember so the silo was all the way to the bin and i think about two four weeks into having this in here we decided we need to get to the meal bin what happened is the silo was there we couldn't get any meal out there so we decided to pull it back feed it a little bit and then put these tires on and you know anyone knows who opens this clamp what is going to happen is they're going to be lots of mold under there for the second year running it doesn't normally happen but it seems to be happening more and more often this time which is very annoying because I'm, I'm a youtuber and i'm useless i first of all before you're going to say minutes at you no. but useless i'm useless right let's get this sorted and ask heidi lots of questions Woo. so my first plan is going to be to get some get the pallet forks on because i feel like the bucket just not going to do the job and i think there's a couple too many bales there oh, handbrake is not in too many bales there and we're going to eat through that corner in no time but we have been trying to smash it back because the cows that are outside really need to start coming in so that this is what this shed is for at this time of year now you spring these stock in the weather's got no better it's still really really wet and horrible and gross well that's annoying my pallet box behind there Hmm. Don't think it'd be better putting the uh, squeeze on. You're not putting holes in it, eh? Hey? You're not putting holes in it. Okay, put it on then. <laughs> Can we just stop it there, please, and just have a look at Dad's instructions when you're driving the Manor 2? Just look at this. Did you see those descriptions on what to do? Oh, the worst ever. Moving these again, two weeks. Got it's freezing. So Heidi's back. Have you got the forks? Cool. So Heidi's got two forks. You can see we just moved the two bales. And what I'm gonna do now. Oh, you'd laugh if I fell. Two six hides, I'll take these tires off and then you give me a hand and we'll answer these questions that everyone has got. I've not even looked at these questions yet. I'm gonna take tires off from there, and then we've got a big chunk. Too many. A few though. It's Baltically cold. Hopefully the audio is great. If it is, my mic works. So many mic issues. Okay. I think the 
I'll do. So we've taken these off. I've got a nice line down here. Normally we chuck the drone up, but it's hell of a windy today. Yeah, even Heidi agrees. So what I'm gonna do is just cut it off and then we'll see what's underneath. Heidi, can you grab that? Can you catch? No. Catch, no. catch the bait. Do not drop it. Yes! Come on, Heidi! Woohoo! Woohoo! That is how I break all my camera gear. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is cut it off. You can obviously see there's some greenery, which we're not excited about. It'd be a bit awkward if there's no mould and we can't answer the questions for Heidi. What annoying, how annoying will that be? It'll all be devastating. It'll all be devastating. This is not a great angle. My ass. <laughs> yeah. That's the best angle I've ever done this year. <laughs> Lucky YouTubers. <laughs> right, should we see what this is going to look like? It's like fun and games until you actually kind of see what's happening. This, this is just, it's so annoying. Next year, mark my words, this is not going to happen. It will not happen. Now that is It's no other word of it. There are more words we could say for it, but then I'd be demonetized on, on YouTube. And that'd be annoying. Plastic is one of annoying things on a farm. You pay to use it, and then you pay to get rid of it. It's a nightmare. So, the clap looks absolutely awful. Again, the second year in a row. It's rubbish. So what we're gonna do is take a skin off. We're gonna take the edge off. I'm hoping it gets better at the top of there, because that is awful, isn't it? It's awful. <laughs> it will get better. Never fails to. Mm. You say that. Well, this is always going to be bad because it was left to the slush. Just fork it all down to the bottom like that yeah. and just pick it up with the shoe. Manitou. 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 All right, well, leave us do it. You do. You get on with your other stuff because me and Heidi have got a video to make. Thank you. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> you can do it if you want. I'll low feed it. There you are. That will always going to be bad. We might come back to this. Talk about it in a bit. All right. I'm asking Heidi questions. Bye. Totally. Bye. No, nope. don't chat. Good. Stop. God, Heidi's got the right idea because she's got gloves on. We're going to smash this through and we're going to get this done, aren't we, Heidi? Ace. We're going to ace it. A star. Boom. You guys are going up there. Hello. You're going to stay there? You can stay there, guys. You can stay there. Probably, yeah. First question is Heidi right handed? Hand I am right handed. <laughs> what we're doing here, we're just taking the front off, me and Heidi, and just putting it on the floor because right Dad thinks Heidi and I because Dad thinks that's the best way to do it. I would get the Manitou bucket, put it in the Manitou bucket, but you know, I'm clever and all that. Start asking Heidi questions. Come on, you keep going. Heidi you can't multitask. Going. That's the first thing. That There's so many fact. times, so many times where I go in to Heidi. Parlor. Yeah, so I'm talking to Heidi and then she just stops what she's doing. How can you not dip cows and talk? Against the stereotype. Against the stereotype. I'm saying nothing. First question, here we go. How, how do I do Connor, this? Ash, are you doing it? Because I'm expecting to just be like, oh. No, because the problem is because it's layered. And, and dad's shit no yeah but dad's shear grabbed it it's layered like that so you're right. trying to take the end off if it was like that it's gonna be really easy because you're just taking the front layer off right. it's a pain in the ass first question from connor ash 05 what do you hope to do as a job to heidi here we go i would like to be a large animal vet and another question that was there that i don't have to use my phone for someone asked have you chosen which you'd like to go for like large animal small animal which you've just answered but why let's answer the question why, why? am i why am i speaking like a, a show host <laughs> i have no idea <laughs> no idea go on i think through work experience really i like the lifestyle of a large animal vet the fact that you can go out and about work outdoors it's harder physical work which i get a lot of job like satisfaction from like it's a difficult job but you know you can do a good job at the end of the day i don't like to be inside for a long period of time so you're big on hill walking weren't you yeah i do a lot of hiking in switzerland and yeah i I don't know, I find it way more exciting. Way more exciting, there we go, good answering. This is like interview prep, because I've got some vet school interviews coming up. Well, you might have done them by the time this video's out. Keep your updated. How did you become to be into farm life? Does that mean like Todd's farm life? No, I just think farm life in general. When I finished my GCSEs, I was like, what do I do in my life now? I can't study for 12 hours a day. So, 
I started volunteering just for fun at our local community farm. They have a herd of goats and like chickens and stuff like that. There was a guinea pig. Um, didn't want to be a vet at that point. I just always enjoyed working outdoors with animals and wanted something to do with time. And then from there, I guess, I was like, this is pretty awesome. There we go. An interesting fact. It's hard you to be a vegetarian. I did. Not anymore. No, nope. work experience changed that because I could see the standards of welfare. Like at Moat Goats, I ate goat there, which people think is sort of controversial for a crazy goat lady, but <laughs> I believe that you shouldn't be ignorant towards where your food comes from. And yeah. yeah just changed, which is cool. It does feel like being Beauty and the Beast. Tom being the Beast. Hi, you being Beauty. Thank you. Is Tom annoying? Great question. Yes. What? <laughs> Absolutely yes. But in a great way though. Because like I also feel like I can be my weird self because I can be annoying. Yeah. What do you mean weird self? You're trying to say I'm weird? Yeah. Right. You just let people be themselves here. <laughs> which is great. Does she have a boyfriend? Do you want to mention nope. that question? No, Far more interested in goats than but, like guys. So. <laughs> more interested in goats than guys. There goats go. over guys. Goats over guys. Goat life. Plan for the future. So, I like my own small holding, self-sufficient, with goats. I would like to have a sort of network in the UK of goat vets and make that a thing to improve goat veterinary medicine. Boom. That's like the biggest aspiration, which is massive. Yeah, yeah. You've got to aim for the sky, it's right, goals down. That's what I always say. We'll do, we might just move over there in a minute. Like it's right difficult to take that off. Next year when we do this siloing, what we do is push all the grass that way. We like hard work, but we not do like hard work. But we don't like work. yeah, don't like making hard work ourselves. How much does she like working for Tom? Great question. I love it. There we I go. Absolutely love it. There we go. And I'll actually be sad to go to university <laughs> in a way. As exciting as that school is, I'll only be able to come back on like the holidays when Christmas. I'm not on the And you'll be doing a lot of placements. Um, yeah, because we don't think we answered that. So what are you doing? Why are you here? Why are you here? I did my A-levels this year and knew that I wanted to apply to vet school once I had my results. So got my results this summer, smashed it. Smashed it. 66.6 with Perry smashed it. You what? Two out of three. What does that mean? Got two A stars and an A. Not happy with the A. <laughs> <laughs> two A stars and an A. <laughs> I got two E's and a U. <laughs> <laughs> we work not, well together. We work well together, we balance each other out. So I wanted a year, I wanted a job that was related to agriculture because I think it's really important as a farm vet to have that insight and perspective and it all comes to my advantage really with my vet application because a lot of vets, will, aspiring vets going to vet school having never worked with cattle before if they come from the city and it's all experience, it's not a rush to get to vet school, so I see it as a long term goal that I'm working towards. Doing a year here and then going to vet school. If uh, I get it. If you get it, that's good. Yeah, she's got two A stars, she's been a full year of work experience, done lambing. But if she gets it, you know, like anyone, you're the person who's going to get Thanks, in anyway. Tell, tell that to the vet. <laughs> <laughs> them up. Yeah, tell that to the interviewers. We're going to move to a different bit and then we're going to answer some more questions. So this stuff will be easier because you can just do that. It should be layered. Look, bang, layer, bang. Bang, the dirt is gone. Bang, and the dirt is gone. Where it's on a sheer grab is a pain in the ass. We're going to waste so much grass. But hey ho, I'm blaming dad. Never blame you yourself. Always blame him. It's because it's always him. He's always doing something quick. He's always, he always thinks about the quick way of doing things. We'll just do this now. Hey ho. Second, lot of questions. Uh, what encouraged you to work with Tom? Well, I think some people think that I knew who Tom was before I started my <laughs> job, but I had no idea. So this social media was like a surprise. Of, <laughs> yeah, surprise! you got the job. Yeah. Going online. Facebook group, searched yeah. our location in to see if there are any farmers there with a job to offer and yeah. Here you are, three months down the line. So all Heidi's wanted to do, like we spoke about before, is just kind of learn about farming, learn about dairy farming, but hands on. So you milk every morning now, don't you? Most mornings. So Heidi does most mornings milking, I do the afternoons, just to make sure everything else is okay. And like if yeah. she's querying something, so I'll just make sure. It sounds after all cows are milked out and stuff, but it's, you get pretty good. It doesn't really miss a lot. Also, 
bolus in worming cows no problem worming by the drench you can do most cows this put in the only thing is so sometimes Heidi will struggle with a bigger cow who's playing up and then we'll have to put let's say we put a halter on it or I'll come and give it a go but like we like we told Heidi before I struggle with cows I struggle bolusing them yeah. I struggle drenching them so what you do is you get a halter on you know you just got to learn but as what what's happening is by you being here you're not going to try and kill yourself for it what you'll do is right we'll just get a halter on this cow and you learn those things don't try and do it all yourself because Heidi is what five foot three yeah well try, you're never mind five foot three and trying to have bolus a cow that I'd even struggle with that like I'd put a halter in reach. I know I shouldn't say like high halting back because it doesn't I don't let it but when you're trying to reach and it, it's out of your reach, it's actually far more difficult than for a taller person, no matter what like, your yeah, strength yeah. is. No, yeah, so what, I, what I'm like... saying is start with, you try to do every cow. But I know from experience that you'll just struggle doing some cows. So Heidi will learn from that and go, it doesn't matter just because I'm smaller. Yeah. I would struggle to do that cow. So yeah. to learn that right, we'll get a halter. Vets should never get themselves in danger. It'd always, oh, be, no. it'd be always up to the cow man. Or woman. Make sure, or woman, cow person. Cow person, make sure the cow is stable first. You missed that, didn't you? <laughs> no. <laughs> make sure the cow is stable for the person. So yeah. That's one thing that I like about working with you and Andrew is I like Ginger your mustache. I like your phrase of don't try to be a superhero. Yeah. Because you're teaching me to know my limits because I think the sort of personality type that vets schools attract. You always want to be the best. You want to yeah. do everything by yourself. So now two eight stars in an age. She's disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like. You accept, you, you don't make me feel bad about doing stuff wrong and I can say I've, oh, sorry, mood up. <laughs> <laughs> You've messed up. I've messed up and you're never angry and you just help me find a solution and allow me to learn from my mistakes, which I really appreciate. Look at that, that was nice from Heidi, wasn't it? There's nothing worse than being afraid of making mistakes though. No. You'll see that I make mistakes, I publish my mistakes online. You'll all see them because they do happen. If you don't learn from them, that's where you go wrong. Yes, we are doing this the second year. So next year, if this happens, you can all lay into me. Yeah. Unless we get loads of clamps. Yes, we're gonna have to move across and we'll ask Heidi more questions. This is gonna be easy, this bit, Heidi. Notice the battery died, so I had to go and get a new battery. We're gonna get this done, answer a couple more questions, and then jobs are good in. I'm very annoyed at this mess being here. It's very frustrating. But we will get to the good stuff, hopefully, one day maybe. So we've had a good smack at it, me and the hides. Looks quite good-ish. What do you think, Jin? Well, there's a bit of waste, always gonna be one with made that face like that. We, we, we've made this bad, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. Because we, we opened this face, yeah. And then what's happened is, the just because yeah, the air's got the into air's it, got but it. it's gone all the way underneath it. Yeah. So what we'll do in like two months, January, February time, we will uh, we'll do a silo top video again and see how it is underneath. Because what we'll do, we'll push it up and just make sure that's free. Yeah. That's all we need. We need that to be free. Free. We didn't yeah. think about it at the time. It was yeah. stupid. When it's coming in and the contractors are flying, they've got somewhere else to go. They haven't got an odd hour to mess with us. No. They want to get shifted and away. Underneath, that's the most important bit. What's it looking like? Get your hoot around that. That's not, not bad. It's a bit damper than I thought. Ah, do you want to have a smell? Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's better. Oh, yay. Oh. Yeah. So we're going to go back to where we were. Oh. There was, I thought there was more silo in there. And I thought they would stay in there, but there's not as so much silo on the ground as I thought. Heidi, what well, did you think of the smell? Well, we picked I... out two bits just while you were talking oh, there, there we while you have another day off. And we've picked out a bit from the top, the surface. I'll see if I can find it again. Very butyric on the outside, where the acid has gone up and down. When you go to the inside, it's better. Heidi, can you smell that again? And yeah. then smell that piece that's been dug in. Much better. Much better. Sweeter. It's much sweeter. So the outside has suffered, but it'll mix in. A bit damper than us, obviously, the last second cut, but it's still smelling quite sweet. Yeah, it's a bit sharper, definitely. Obviously, the start, didn't go too well. Second no. year in a row. But, it's, but we're going to feather this in with our dry second cut now. Could you take that plastic and yes. in the plastic bin I'll, I'll, I'll and then just here. tidy this up? Yeah. So whilst Dad's doing that, we're going to ask Heidi. Mm. What's that favourite animal on the farm? Cattle, because <laughs> it's a dairy farm. Yeah, there's sheep, there's horses. 
Don't really see it. Yeah, that, but do we? sheep just like do their own thing in the field. Yeah, but sheep are like goats. No, they're not. You're just trying to be controversial here. <laughs> sheep and goats are pretty much the same thing. They got four legs and go ba ba ba. No, goats go me me me. Favorite farm animal though, goat. Why is your goats. favorite farm animal goats? Because goats are alive. Okay, you say what you want. <laughs> this would be like an Ollie's farm remake. That way you couldn't say it, and you were like just goat. <laughs> Uh, when we did the Canon event, I <laughs> wasn't saying things that well. Me, Hannah, and Ollie were trying to say some stuff, which you can enter. There is a Canon event competition you can enter before January, so this will definitely be out before January. Enter it. You've got to make a small video, and you could win an Outlander like mine. I'm not big on horses. Like equine medicine isn't going to be my thing, but I think everyone can have their own speciality. Um, but in general, goats. Goats Go are life. Goats. <laughs> goats are life. Goat life. The goat life. Goat life. Can we get one more question? Yeah. Yeah. Do it. How do we do this? Oh, we swipe up. Swipe up. You're meant to be the, like the Instagrammer. Yeah. Well, let's, let's answer like questions quickly, right? Yeah. Do you like mucking out? I love mucking out because it's a workout and I'm trying to get fit. But favorite job on the farm? Everything apart from moving calves because they're just bully. So I have the best description of calves. If you've ever seen How to Train Dragons and they talk about the baby calves that you can't train, that's like baby dragons that you can't train. That's like it's it. that age Yeah. Group, so. How to Train Dragons, the babies. That's like your little calves. I uh, do love calves though. Why did you choose? agriculture and not another occupation so in this gap year i wanted to do a job that is most relevant to what i want to do in the future and i said before about the whole farming and getting a farmer's perspective and it's just a brilliant opportunity on this farm working with the tom bankton jokes <laughs> <laughs> i just love getting covered in muck and obviously we've got enough muck here as you can tell from our silo clamp yes but anything else you'd like to add Heidi? I'm just thinking we'd like to add anything, any info on you that you get asked because you look at the videos that you're in, don't you? Because yeah. the sport's great, isn't it? It's awesome. Like, I love it. I, I was worried when I first came, I was like, uh, don't, don't yeah, put yeah, me don't, on that mucking yeah, out video yeah, because yeah. I thought people would judge so me. So that was the first one with the scraper tractor. And I'd say that had like the best feedback to just be like, wow, she yeah. can like muck she can out. Smash it. And I'm like, yes. It just shows like it doesn't matter, female, male, you can smash it. No, you and Heidi has it. been one of, I'd say the best worker we've had. No offense to anyone else, but Heidi has been the best worker. Five foot three, smashing it. When I was in Finland on Husky Farm, when we were chopping <laughs> the ice, the, the meat that was frozen, they told me that it wasn't just about your physical strength, it was about your mental strength. So some of the really like big guys took the same amount, not you, <laughs> bigger than you, took the same amount of time as I did, because I'd be like dripping with such going, ah, and then I'd get it done. Smash so it. I think it just if shows you have me. the determination, which I definitely do in like all aspects of my life, you can do whatever you want. Women in ag smashing it, yeah. men in ag smashing it. Everyone um, can just smash it. Yeah. Just just work hard and I think people appreciate it as you work hard, don't yeah. they? Your Instagram you can get go on hit go on. Mammals and microscopes and spell it correctly in the bio. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll put it in a little title thing. Mammals and microscopes, that is Heidi's Instagram, so if you want to follow her, you can follow her. There's a lot of stuff about vet, veterinary stuff, studying. application studying. I'm learning German, so any learning. German subscribers that want to help me with grammar or just general conversations in German, much appreciated. German subscribers, yeah. hello, that'd be cool. Yeah. That'd be sick. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching the video. We will be, be back um, because we're gonna have a look at the silo when we do come back. Heidi, thank you very much for being in the, in the okay. videos and this video. So that is what Heidi is about. That is what Heidi is doing on this farm. This is not great. I will admit it once again, not great, but hopefully, fingers crossed, we will get to a better point because when this grass did come in, it came in really well and good condition. Hopefully, as we get further down, it will dry up. At the start, the dry matter is not as high, but hopefully, as we get further down, the dry matter should improve. We'll get less waste at the top because we wouldn't have opened it. It's going to be gross there again. We know this. When we opened the second cut clamp, it was perfect. That second cut clamp was just amazing. The silo in it was fantastic. Start making some space for some more spuds, some more Selco, all that good stuff. Right, we will see you in a week or two where I've probably got more hair. Hair's growing really nicely, but we'll see you then. See ya, bye.